Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another one of my videos. So I've got a piece of training for you today, which is gonna allow you to effectively structure your Loom video content when you are sending Looms out as part of your outreach method. Now, if you're not sending Looms out, you might consider start sending Looms out using the structure. And then also if you are already sending Looms, then hopefully this can provide some value and help you make your Loom content even better for maximum output. And by maximum output, I just mean generating more booked meetings for your agency. The more booked meetings that you guys get, then you're gonna end up with more clients and making more money within your business. Now guys, the loom structure that I'm sharing with you today is so incredibly easy for you to follow, whether you are experienced or a beginner. Uh, I've broken it down quite nicely, which you'll see in a minute. And if you just follow it and start implementing it into your loom outreach strategy, then I know that you are gonna start getting more yeses and more responses and more booked meetings. So before I jump onto the computer to run you through this step by step i just wanted to say that over 80 percent of you guys watching my content haven't yet subscribed so if that is you please hit the subscribe button also hit the bell notification as well and you'll be notified of uh, any future releases uh, putting out loads of content like this which is going to help you not only become a better web designer but also a better web design business owner and if you found any of this content valuable please do give it a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it now without further ado let's jump on the machine and run you through this Hey, how's it going guys? So I've got a quick bit of training for you here, um, which should essentially essentially help you uh, with your outreach uh, efforts. Now I know a lot of you are struggling to get clients and the only way to get clients is to book calls. Um, and if you follow me, you'll know that the way that I managed to get booked calls is by offering free value to uh, a potential customer and then hopefully getting them to agree to book onto a call. Uh, so I'm going to share with you today my structure that I have for the Loom videos, which you should, um, if you are struggling, take, copy it, use it as your own, uh, obviously tweaking uh, your, your niche and things like that. Um, but essentially what I'm going to run you through today is going to help you start putting out much stronger Loom videos and start getting you m uh, more calls booked for your business or your agency. Uh, so yeah, let's just jump straight in. So... You need to understand the overall goal. So for example, if the business website doesn't have the ability to purchase online, then the goal would be to make them believe that they need to have e-com functionality uh, in order for them to reach new heights. So you need to understand what the goal of reaching out to that prospect is. Um, if let's say, for example, they have an, a website with e-com functionality already, then the goal would perhaps to be the goal would be to the goal would be to convince them that they can make uh, that you can make the website better for them so let me read that again if they already have econ functionality the goal is to then convince them that you can make their website better for them and obviously start making them more money so before you even record the link you need to understand what it is that you're essentially offering what is the goal um, so as I said earlier, this structure is going to be really effective and easy to follow. Even if you are a beginner, if you haven't sent any looms out before, uh, you're still going to find this useful. If you have sent looms out again, you, maybe you have a structure already. You can maybe just ch check this one out, see what, how it ties in with yours, see if there's anything that you could steal. Um, you know, hopefully it's providing value. So let's get into the content. So the very first thing that you need to talk about is why you have picked that person as a prospect. You know, what was it that made you wanna reach out to them? And this gives you an opportunity to pick out something that's quite personal. Obviously the loom is personal, um, but it, immediately when you start talking, it gives you the opportunity to pick something out that you really liked about them uh, and it sort of helps build that rapport. Then you wanna go straight into introducing yourself. So you know, what your name is, who your agency, uh, who, who your agency is, who do you help, what type of businesses do you help. If you've got case studies, now is a perfect time to just quickly flick onto a, another screen and, and show some examples of work that you have done in the past. Um, maybe show logos um, and just basically proof that you can do what you're saying that you can do. Now, these are in a bracket because if you don't have those, if you are a beginner, don't don't worry just just leave it out just introduce yourself and basically talk about who you help so if you were reaching out to e-com stores you would just say 
I, my name is Joe and I work with e-com stores to help them generate more business online, something like that. So you want to touch on their deepest desires. So what is it that the business that you are reaching out to or the niche that you work within, what do they all have in common and what is essentially the main motivator for wanting them to do better? What what is their deepest desire? Is it to sell more stock? Is it to make more money? Is it to alleviate some stress? Is it to free up staff time because they're taking uh, you know too many calls via the phone? There could be any any different problem that they want solving. The idea is for you to understand what that is, and it gives you an opportunity to touch on the deepest desires of the niche that you are targeting. So touch on the deepest desires and complement. I've got a uh, double space in there, a double word. So and then complement what they have done so far. So you want to just touch on the the fact that they want to make money and just tell them that what they've done so far is a really good uh, starting point. Um, then you want to go on to show them what their competition are doing, um, preferably picking out competition that's doing something that's better th than them. You know, business owners hate the fact that another business is doing better than them. So if you show them that another business is doing better and picking out a couple of reasons why, um, that's definitely going to help sell them. So then you want to move on to discussing the core concept. So you want to give them some value on what you think would improve their website. For example, customers expect to be able to effortlessly purchase from you online. You know, Amazon is a great example of this um, without the need for them to visit a physical store anymore. A new website is going to allow um, a business to offer that type of service. So the, the core concept here is obviously delivering a website that can alleviate what we're talking about here. And then once you've pretty much got into the, uh, the the meat and potatoes of the the content, you want to then show a case study. And again, if you haven't got one, don't worry, just just leave this this part. Up. But preferably, as soon as you get a case study, you want to sort of reference it. Um, you want to talk about how this company went from the beginning state to the uh, desired outcome or state two in the amount of time that it took using the the mechanism. So an example of this would be how uh, company A went from making £5,000 a month to £20,000 a month in six months using um, a brand new, new e-commerce store system um, and maybe some advertisement alongside that. But the mechanism could be any anything that you want it to be, essentially the service that you offer. And once you've got the main Loom content, so out of the way, you then want to like sort of transition this whole value-based content into transitioning into selling a meeting. So remember, uh, I've highlighted here, don't be nervous because you're not selling the service during a Loom video. People don't want to be sold to, so you're not selling it. You are delivering value. You are sort of highlighting where things could be better for them, and then you're giving them an opportunity to get on a call with you to discuss further. So transition into that selling a meeting. You've delivered the value. Now you can give them two options to solve their problems. Option one, they can try doing it themselves. And I always suggest that you welcome that as an option because nine times out of 10, they're not gonna have the know-how or the skill set. But if they do, don't worry. Um, you've provided value and they're gonna remember you. But option two is basically let a professional take care of it in a fraction of the time. So that professional being you. Uh, and the fraction of the time is important because even if they opted to do something themselves, they might have to go away and learn to do it uh, because they didn't do it on a day-to-day -day basis. They don't do what you are offering on a day-to-day -day basis, so it's going to take them a long time to learn. So that's why option two is definitely the sort of more attractive option to them. So then you want to transition into the call to action. So your aim here is to get them on a call. So I would say something like, I would like to be able to share more ideas with you. We're only looking to take on one to two new projects at the moment, but I think you have a great brand or product and you deserve to be making more money online. Would you be free for a 15 minute chat? So something as simple as that, you could say that on your video. And the reason why this is good is because it has three core concepts here. 
it's offering a bonus so you're saying i'd like to share more ideas with you so again it's about giving value you've got scarcity here so you're only taking on one to two new clients uh, this month so that basically says if they do want to take action then they're gonna to have to do it pretty quickly because they might miss the boat uh, and then we've got the call to action and that's basically saying um, would you be free for a 15 minute chat so that is essentially where you want to get them once you finish up with the would you be free for a 15 minute chat you would just say look my calendar link is included in this email or underneath this video uh, click it book in the time that's suitable for you and um, we would hopefully speak very soon the reason why Calendly is highlighted here is because Calendly is a tool that you're going to have to go and, and get if you haven't got it because it's, it's definitely great for managing your time and allowing you to book a meeting without having to put messages or emails backwards and forwards saying, when are you free? How about this time? Does this work for you? Uh, because that just causes friction. It's so much easier to just give a link to your calendar. They can choose a time slot that works for them. It's all automated, it all gets booked in and it gets added to your calendar. So you don't really need to think about it. So yeah, that's essentially the, the structure of the, the Loom video. I would probably say, keep it under five minutes. I've got some final thoughts here. Um, so final thoughts, uh, essentially, Looms have been around for a little while now. Um, I've noticed within the space that a lot more people are relying on Looms as a way of trying to book meetings. They were really, really effective initially because it was something quite new. And uh, it, you know, when you would send a loom to a prospect, they would be wowed. But because a lot more people are doing it now, it's kind of become a little bit more competitive, but they're definitely not dead if you can structure them properly. If you can structure them and add value, then you are still gonna get success with looms. So you also want to nail your structure and deliver value. So you've got the structure here. This is essentially the, the core value of delivering a loom. Then you've got transitioning into selling a meeting and not actually selling your service. You need to be selling a meeting. And then finally, make sure you've got your call to action. So nail that structure, practice it a couple of times uh, and you'll be good to go. You also want to sound confident. Uh, even if you're not confident, just please guys try and sound confident. Um, there's nothing worse than trying to deliver value where you're coming across a little bit unsure as to whether you know what you're talking about or whether you even believe what you're saying is is true. So the more confident you sound, the more authority you, you are going to have and the more that user watching your content is going to trust you. And finally, try and keep the videos to under five minutes long. Um, people are busy. It's unlikely that they're going to sit through a 10, 15, 20, even 30 minute loom. Some people do do them, but I don't think it's it's necessary. If you gave 30 minutes of value on a loom, you'd probably have nothing left for the call. So I'd say keep it under five minutes and that way you're going to be able to get more volume out and it's going to take less of your time recording these things um, because the nature of the beast is you might record a loom video and get ghosted. So you don't really want to be spending too much time on it. You want to be spending enough time on it to deliver value and get the job done. So there you go. Hopefully you found that really useful and you can see how easy that would be to follow and start implementing into your own outreach strategy. Now, if you found that valuable, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And let me know down in the comments whether you're using Loom and what your outreach strategy maybe looks like. I'd love to know. Make sure you go and check out the other videos on the channel, but the end screen is coming up and you will see content that is going to be super beneficial for you if you are trying to either start or continue to grow your web design business. So stick around. Oh,